Hello everyone and welcome back to WWE2K19's My Career. We just got back from Japan. And my god, I it was great. We got a new podcast that you best get to listen to. So let's get the podcast out of the way first. Ooh, it's a new in team conversation. I've had the pleasure of calling a lot of big time matches in my career. Some of those in Japan. And it's rare that I say this, but I wish I'd been able to call that triple threat match between Buzz, AJ Styles, and Shinsuke Nakamura. It really was a thing of beauty. I even got up at 4 a.m. to watch the special live on the WWE Network, and that says a lot, because there aren't too many things at my age that get me out of bed before the roosters are up. Big picture, if there's one thing we can take away from all this, is that this Japanese tour and the WWE Network special specifically really put Buzz on the map. I mean, we're talking Steve Austin, King of the Ring, 1996 level here, folks. Just as that night shot Austin out of a cannon and catapulted him into another stratosphere, I really think that's what this night will do for Buzz. And look, this, this isn't just Jack Tice saying this, okay? After the match, AJ Styles gave Buzz that Wolfpack sign, which is a sign of respect for AJ and many others. It, it means Buzz has earned his stripes in AJ's book, all right? So what's next for Buzz? We all know what happened with Austin in the years following King of the Ring. He went on to hold countless titles despite Mr. McMahon trying anything and everything he could to stop him. Could we be seeing something similar here with Buzz and Triple H playing a role with Mr. McMahon? Only time will tell, but barring any major setbacks, I see big, big things in this man's future. That wolf pack sign. <laughs> they can't call it too sweet, because they don't... It's too sweet! And match balance. Got up early to watch a match with AJ Nakamura from Japan. Unbelievable times are tough right now. Can barely afford the WWE Network, but I wouldn't have missed it. Or and miss that for anything proud of you buzz. Why do you still have my number? Why haven't I changed my number? Why haven't I blocked him? Buzz Buzz Sean, so cool facing you in Japan. Never thought that would happen. Especially in high school parking lot safe travels back to the state. Oh that's cool. How are you feeling after that big trip? A little jet lag? Yeah, a little. I mean, can't complain though. Look, I just wanted to say maybe Why is it the women's money in the bank? Fast. You obviously proved in Japan that you deserve it. Hey, don't worry about it. I know you got the whole rookie treatment when you first got to WWE too. I definitely did. Maybe I was just doing the same thing to you without even thinking about it. We're cool now though, right? Jimmy Sierra. I don't know why John Cena is here, but I do know that Buzz will be in action. Coming up next on SmackDown Live. Get ready, WWE Universe. It's Buzz! It's your reward for being near me. We'll be Hmm. 
Ladies and gentlemen, WWE presents from Chicago, Illinois, the maestro of mayhem, the Picasso of pain, the Rembrandt of rage, the drama king, right here in What keep the hell out of a in an English series called Ready for Action. Oh. This is one of those matches Gosh. where it's hard to believe we get paid for this. Well actually, Aiden, hard to believe Aiden, Sexton Aiden, gets Aiden, paid Aiden, for anything. Aiden. One move after the other. It's devastating. Oh. Aiden. Kill. Okay, Aiden, time to walk. Kick the egg, kick the egg, kick the egg. Oh, look Ooh. out. Kick the head. You are the shit, how about a shame, babe? Toss it up on a... And a monkey flip. There's no recovering from that. How about a feeling? Nice move. That didn't get out No, you don't eat it. Looks like Aiden English I'll is starting to now. slow some. He may have to start reevaluating <laughs> his game plan. Oh. Hey, you're going to absorb some punishment in a wrestling match. It just goes along Ooh, with the territory. Ooh, the drop kick to the back. That. I doubt he's all that concerned about it. Painted it. I've got to say, I'm really impressed with the evolution of Aiden English. For a while, it appeared as though he might be oh, paid as a tag team specialist, but he's since proven that he can also get, go on get his a own. Get the of the bark. Good way. Get the money down. <laughs> oh, off the rope. Off the back. And then the elbow. Get on a roll. And oh, boy, he is This time. As Michael alluded what to, a Aiden final. English was message <laughs> delivered. I don't got a good there. Name hey, pending. what goes up must come down. And but Charlie Aiden, it's the end with the harp in your knee. Aiden English quickly getting the shoulder up. Oh, wow. Aiden. Whoa, Aiden English able to avoid <laughs> the damage. Then the call. That's how you make a statement. Just go for Let's the finish already. Let's drag you over here. I don't understand here. the delay. The and object is to win the match, isn't it? Come on. Let's go. Well, that's any indication oh, yes. she's not taking any prisoners in this one. A Canadian destroyer can put Indy with us right now. Aiden English is taking a beating. He could be out any moment now. Looks to me like he just hit a wall. He has got to do something quick. As Corey continues to criticize the action in the ring, allow me to take the other side of the argument. The last thing any superstar has to do is go for the finish with premature. No good in front of that. Yeah, you really want to wait for the exact right time. If you go for it and miss, that can be the momentum for the opponent that you're waiting for.
fuck this arm over a bit, Aiden. Ugh, let's make you a pillow, cello, pillow. Pentano. Oh, no. She's in a bad way now. You know, WWE has become accustomed to seeing unusual pairings find success. But when Aiden English and Rusev first paired up in 2017, oh. I don't think anybody expected Boy. the duo to become as much of a force as they became. A deal! He just dealed me! Not looking good for her right now. But she's like, this could do it! No, Aiden! No, 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 no! Way too early. This is what makes him no, one of the no, best no. in the business. No, 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 way to move the park, too. Come on, boy. Duke Chop. Duke Chop and Grim on your ass. Come on, Aiden. Come on, Aiden. Jeez. Come on, boy. Come on, Creedus. Come on, Creedus. Come on, Creedus. Oh, oh, she's not playing any games tonight. Everyone better watch out. Even me. Aiden English is in a bad One, way, guys. two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Good back cat. Albert. A meal of blow. Jimmy Sierra. We have an idea why John Cena's here tonight. Oh, because he has an issue with Aiden English's singing. Cena might not be a fan of the Drama King, but my guess is it has more to do with wanting to get a closer look at SmackDown. Oh, Cena, so I want my time is now. I couldn't do my own voice a thing. <laughs> oh, I spoiled the reveal. Take it easy, partner. I'm not out here for a fight. At least not yet. I'm here because I've heard all the buzz. You gotta see this guy who's blowing up on the indies. You gotta see this guy who invaded NXT and stuck it to Triple H. You gotta see this guy who won the US title and defended it in an open challenge week after week. Hmm. I wonder where he got that. Who are you and what have you done with John Cena? Jimmy Sierra. This guy who went to Japan and beat Nakamura and AJ Styles in the dome of all places. Now most people would get caught up in all that. But not me. You see, I've been around for a while. And so many times I've heard all the buzz, and then when it comes time for me to actually see what's behind the buzz, it doesn't measure up to the hype. So I'm out here tonight because I want to know, do you measure up, Buzz? Do I measure up? What must the face to prove he needs Cena to prove he still messes up? Wants to face Cena the poo he met. I can't believe you came out here, say everything you just said about what I've accomplished, and then still question whether I measure up? I think the question you should be asking, John, is whether you still measure up. You said it yourself, you've been around for a while. Some people might even say you've been around. A little too long. Now don't hide behind that statement. If you're one of those people, say it to my face. You're past your prime, and I'm just getting started. Okay. So you think I need to prove to you that I measure up? Well, it's clear we're not going to settle this difference of opinions with words. But, it just so happens that we have a show coming up called SummerSlam! And I currently don't have an opponent. So how about you and I step into the ring 
and go one on one. After that, all our questions will be answered. After SummerSlam, the next thing you're going to hear people say is, you gotta see this guy who absolutely destroyed John Cena. I guess that's a yes. Wow, what a match that is going to be at SummerSlam. Okay, hey, me? Well, I know I'm. I want to face Cena at SummerSlam, but I'm facing Jimmy Sierra at SummerSlam. I'm facing the M. Dickie John Cena. Cause that was not John Cena next week. If anyone knows anything about having immediate success in the WWE, it's me. Oh, at least Randy voiced himself. After all, I was the youngest world heavyweight champion in history at the age of 24. But unlike you, Buzz, I didn't rely on cheap gimmicks like viral videos or invading someone else's show to make it to the top. No, I did things the right way. But that's not what gets rewarded these days, is it? No, now you get hot on the indies, show up, win a few matches on SmackDown, they get handed a main event match in one of the biggest shows of the year. Well, I am sick of it. I am sick of it. I should be facing John Cena at SummerSlam, not you. That is my spot. Oh my god, they actually use your actual stuff. <laughs> Look, I can give you an entire list of reasons why I'm facing John Cena at SummerSlam. But instead, let me give you one reason why you're not facing Cena. Because we've seen that match over, over and, and over and over, and over again. again. The WWE Universe wants something new and exciting, not Cena versus Orton part 589. I don't give a damn what the WWE Universe wants. Oh yeah? Well I do. And since we have unfinished business after you cost me the US title, how about we give them a match they've never seen before? You, you versus, versus me. me. Right what now. Hell? What's in it for me? The chance to prove everything you just said about me. That's fine. But I was thinking more like if I beat you, I take your place in the match versus Cena at SummerSlam. Do you want to shut up all the critics and earn your big main event opportunity? Or do you want another handout? All right. To prove to you and everyone else that I've earned everything I've ever gotten, I'll put my spot in the SummerSlam match on the line. That's great. I look forward to taking it from you by giving the WWE Universe something they have seen before. Me hitting you with an R-K-O. And why was Randy Pagek playing? Oh, right into the mark. Attacking the leg. All Buzz is proving tonight is that he loves taking stupid risks. And this one's going to cost him his match with Cena at SummerSlam. That's only if Orton can defeat him. But what does he have to gain? I think it's a matter of pride. Well, there's a fine line between pride and stupidity, and he's crossed it. Hey, Randy. And Ziguri gets her. Already going off with this plating. Well executed. But boom, oh, Randy. Incredible. I've been more entertained than you since day one. I've been more entertained than you since you were at OVW. Ow. Well, I was on the end. You were 
clap it in Diva's back. Go Almost give her a Canadian. Driver spiked. Come on. She oh. clearly doesn't care about the rules. Not when I'm faking Lando Keith Orton. Oh, I didn't even like it. We could get help. Randy Orton is fast. I would win. Here. We're obviously not winning. Oh my goodness, crushing it. A Lando for the penalty? No, no way, son. No, 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 no. I'm just gonna duck under you, give you some Lucha Underground basics. That lands. I'm gonna do that. I'm a dick sometimes. Boom, boom. Where's your mercy mark too? Where's your mercy part two? Oh. oh. Yeah, I thought I was gonna do that Randy landing. Orton is one of the most dominant competitors oh, in WWE history. Oh, he's gonna down. With few weaknesses, Corey, how would you target the Apex Predator? Why doing this? We're about to find out. He's gonna do it. Boom. And then, goop trail. What's Triple, Triple H, H with the eagle? Really fast, guys. We're about to have AJ! A AJ! 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 Something to say about that? Why is AJ attacking Triple H? This is career suicide. Some people value. Okay, oh no! Money, oh, those people are idiots. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, Buzz just barely got out of the way. <laughs> Randy, oh Randy, Robin, you need time. Come on, we're gonna bust it open, B. One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. That's how we do it around here. Hard to imagine, but that match was even better than advertised. Here's another look at that history-making encounter. <laughs> Three count ends this one, and there's your winner, folks. You know, it didn't happen often, but I can attest being pinned is humiliating. Guys, it sounds like we can all agree that was an Thanks, AJ. impressive win. <laughs> thanks a lot. Hey, thanks for having my back out there with Triple H. If it wasn't for you, I might have lost my chance to face John Cena at SummerSlam. No problem. I know you don't have many allies on SmackDown, but from now on, you can trust me to be there for you. E the face is that Linda put. I saw what you did out there tonight. That took some guts <laughs> to put your match with me on the line. Honestly, I'm surprised you did. I wouldn't be where I am if I played it safe. I don't take the easy way out, no matter what obstacles are put in front of me. I never give up. Hmm. Interesting choice of words. Yeah, well, that's just how I live my life. For me, it's not just a catchphrase to sell towels. And you think that's all it is for me? I busted my ass for everything I have. And will continue to do so <laughs> until someone has to drag me out of that ring. Guys, you have a match coming up. How about you settle this in the ring? You know what? That's a good idea, AJ. With all this talk about never giving up, how about you put your money where your mouth is? At SummerSlam, how about we make our match a submission match? Uh, oh. <laughs> like I said, I don't play things safe. No. No. I hope you're ready to dance at SummerSlam. Because I'm going to make you tap. Oh, no. Hey, come on. That's enough. Are you sure that was the right decision? <laughs> no, not at all. I need to start learning some more submission moves ASAP. Hey, like I said before, I got your back at the pay-per-view just in case Triple H or Randy Orton try to get involved again. Hey, I really appreciate that. You've been such a big help, which is... I hate to ask for another favor, but would you be willing to show me the calf crusher? I don't know, man. That's kind of my thing, you know? Can't be giving out all my secrets just in case we have to face each other again someday. Look, I need help if I'm going to beat Cena in this submission match. I mean, I'll get down on my knees and beg if I have to. Oh my God. Stand up. I'll show it to you. 
Awesome. I owe you one. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll settle up at some point. Oh, so he's gonna be like, oh, can you teach me the little bell lock? I'm sorry for how you've been treated by Triple H, but unfortunately, there's not much else I can do to help at this point. I understand that man should not have to hold a good. Yeah, tell me about it. He's still holding one against me from five years ago. Anyway, good luck in your submission match versus Cena. Avoid the STF at all costs. Easier said than done. Bye.